Hey guys and girls, it is GamerKeller2347, and welcome to series review number 8. In this series review, I will be reviewing Camp Coral. So, I finally decided I was going to watch Camp Coral for two reasons. First of all, you know, there was the whole thing over Sandy being in the show, and in that ruins, uh, and... You know, Sandy and Spongebob met in T at the Tree Dome, so that doesn't really make sense for Sandy to be in there. And they had and they had found a way to to kind of solve the timeline. And um second is because um I recently uh not too long ago, uh whenever um something normal this way comes came out you know i had you know they had all these characters from camp coral in it and i haven't even seen camp coral so it's at the point now where they're making you watch like you want you have to watch camp coral in order to understand new spongebob episodes so so yeah, I finally decided to watch it. Um, look, it's it's not that bad, you know. People are, in my opinion, a lot of people are really judging, uh, are really just viewing Camp Coral in a negative light because of the whole, um, the whole thing over whether or not Stephen Hillenburg knew about it and. Uh, and supported it, and of course that he that he really didn't want spinoffs, and he didn't he didn't want to age the characters down because he like he didn't want he didn't want the SpongeBob characters to be kids, and um, so and this show kind of ruins it, so. But, just, if you look past that, I mean, people on, on IMDb really don't like this show. I think it has, like, three points, I, I don't know, like, 3.5 out of 10, maybe? Like, it's, I don't, maybe 3.6, or, I, people on IMDb really don't, uh, or maybe 3.8, I, I don't know, anyway, people on IMDb really aren't uh, a fan of this, I don't, it might be review bombing because of the, uh, I heard that people had bombed the reviews before it even came out, and uh, possibly because of the whole uh, Stephen Hillenburg controversy, and um, yeah, so, to sum up the continuity, basically, um, so, the, the Camp Coral Camp Sandy, uh, talk, um, talks with, uh, on the phone with her future self, which is the Sandy in you know, the original SpongeBob series, so, um, and I mean, here, and I mean, that really is, that Sandy sent her past self to summer camp, and, um, then there also has something about, um, about SpongeBob, um, about like that SpongeBob had invented the the Krabby Patty secret formula. Uh so so it involves time travel somehow and time travel exists in SpongeBob, you know, it was in back to the past involved time travel. Um and Time travel played a pretty big part in the second movie, so I think, so that, that's where, 
probably what it, I mean, they didn't say it was time travel, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's what it is. Um, um, Anything else? Uh, so, basically, I guess how you could sum it up would be that... I, I mean... It would be that maybe Sandy had, you know, some somehow used time travel, sent her past self to Camp Coral, and... And, uh... Part of it, I've heard it's part of an attempt in order to, uh, to save the secret formula from, from Plankton. And, so, yeah, pretty, so it, I think it, that's, that part of it's interesting. I, I you know, kind of reminds me of a, uh, Camp Laszlo, that was a pretty good show on Cartoon Network. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, so I did finally cave in to, to Camp Coral after, you know, I... For a while I was, I was saying that I wouldn't, but, um... I finally did. And of course, there's also the... Uh, I watched the iCarly reboot. And then there's the Rugrats reboot, too. And I've... Uh, the reviews on the Rugrats reboot are also not that great. Critics say it's good, but audiences say it's not. So, um... So, I currently don't have any plans to watch the Rugrats reboot. D disappointing that people don't like it since, you know, it took, like, about 13 years after All Grown Up ended. But, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. You players will like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, fans.